If you've ever wondered what you do in an emergency situation, these guys have the answer. Ed Haynes works with the Alberta Emergency Management Agency. He said it's as important to survive the few days following a catastrophic event as it is to get through the event itself. Is unless you're directly impacted by the emergency, you, then you're going to be on your own for those 72 hours to take care of yourself. The agency recommends putting together a survival kit, and Haynes pointed out some of the key elements of a good one. What we recommend is a minimum of two liters of water per person uh, per day. So however many is in your family, at least two liters per person, and, uh, and then you can go from there. Uh, other than that, you want to think about some shelter, some warmth, some heat, uh, some blankets, emergency blankets, uh, things of that nature is very, very useful. Added to that, he recommended some freeze-dried foods that won't spoil, light sources like flashlights or glow sticks, and important items like ID, medications, and some cash. If you want to do it, you want to do it right. So as part of your emergency plan, what we recommend is you sit down with your family, use something as a simple guide that we provide to you, and just talk to your family about what you think you need and get everybody in the family involved. Kits can be built on a budget for around $150, and tips on building them can be found online at www.getprepared.ca. The main items they should include are water, non-perishable food, a flashlight, first aid kit, and a copy of your emergency plan. Pre-made kits are also available for purchase at select stores. For Sun News, I'm Dave Lazzarino.